Hello! Welcome back to Shadows of Nox. Uh, I am Elizabeth. I am going to be running Blades in the Dark tonight. I know normally we do Power Rangers. Um, today would typically be a podcast recording day slash release day, um, but I have turned it into Blades in the Dark um, because John's not here and I can do whatever I want. Um, well, A, John is here, but the mean John, the Zordon John is not here. Um we stole the Power Ranger slot because I we do did. crime. Exactly. Um, yeah. So yeah, instead of Power Rangers, um, I am going to be doing this. Um, content warnings for tonight. Uh, language, murder, scary things, ghost vampires, things like that. Um, occult practices, um, violence, blood, gore, uh, drug and alcohol use, um, potentially creepy dolls and mannequins. I don't know. I might... We didn't get to do it last time, so I might throw it in tonight. We'll see. Um, we're going to go around. We're going to introduce everybody. Um, who are you? Where can we find you? And who are you playing tonight? Um, Kit. I'm going Why? backwards this time. It's your turn. How dare you? I know. All right. I'm Kit. Uh, I can be found in a couple of places. I, I am showing up in more and more places as time goes on, like some kind of fun guy. Uh, uh, I don't think they've started posting them yet, but I will be on the billing, Being Villainous uh, game that'll be... I don't know when that's going to be released. But in the future, on Saturdays, I'll be in the Fallout game. So, was that a different channel? Yeah, that's on Lucas G Variety. Lucas G Variety. I can never remember the names of things, uh, because I'm unhelpful that way. For this game, I play uh, a leech, Smoke! Who is here to cause problems? I mean, solve problems. Something between those two. Okay. Um, tonight we have Lottie with us. Hello, hello. I'm Lottie Olive West. You can find me on all socials at Lottie Olive West. Um, I'm also part of the podcast uh, for Power Rangers, where I play Cecily Adwell. Uh, Blue Ranger and Ren Fair enthusiast. I'm also Dr. Ro uh, Dr. Uh, wow, I just forgot her first name. Priscilla. <laughs> Dr. Priscilla Vern in uh, the Call of Cthulhu game that runs on Sundays, uh, who is an Australian archaeologist. And I'm also in the Being Villainous uh, game as Ermagard Wise, a goblin with a penchant for stealing beauty. Um, I'm also the uh, head of marketing for Beacon, which is a, a Chicagoland-based LARP convention. So if you're interested in trying out LARP, uh, my game got accepted. Yay! And you can come play a game that I wrote, or you can play other games. I won't be personally offended if you choose not to play mine, but it's called Whispering Pages. And it's sad, It's a, but it's cute. It's like a good feels ghost um, bookshop game. Lots of Yay, lots of ghosts. It's fun. It's cute. I wrote a lot. It's exciting. I'm really cool, like, pumped that it's going to be at the convention. Um, yeah, and today I'm going to be playing Lavinia Karstis, uh, the Heartbreaker, and she's a slide. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, and John. Hello, hi, hello. My name is John Blair. You can find me um, here on Wednesdays that aren't in the month of June playing Power Rangers Centurion as Felix Boucheron. You can also hear me on the Power Rangers podcast as another fun pink ranger, Brick Kerrigan. Um, you will be hearing and seeing me on the Being Villainous game as Eden, the acolyte of nature's revenge. I am a centaur man that likes to strangle people with vines. Um, and you can find me here, and you can find me in other places if you look really, really hard. Who are you playing tonight? Oh, my name is Vagra, and I also known as Saw Sawtooth. I'm sorry, I'm a cutter. All right, thank you. And last but not least, Grim. Uh, hi, I'm Grim. Uh, you can catch me on Wednesdays here, like most of the people. 
uh, I'm playing the Red Ranger uh, Link on Centurion Ridge. Uh, I have joined season three of the podcast as the Green Ranger Oz. Um, I will be reprising my role as Lucky uh, on Lucas G Variety for the Fallout game, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, today, I am playing Dirge the Whisper, who's supposed to be good at ghosts, but so far has failed spectacularly, and I hope that trend does not continue, but what are you going to do? <laughs> All right. Um, so last session, um, you guys went into the sewers uh, looking for the dungeons located underneath the Church of Ecstasy. Um, you were hired to sneak in, find and steal Thorn's crown, um, sneak back out, and you were told that you can have whatever, whatever else you want. The coffers were supposed to be there. Um, so if you found it, you could loot it, take whatever you want, as long as you return Thorn's crown. Um, somehow you guys managed to actually sneak in and sneak back out without getting caught. I'm still not quite sure how that happened. Um, but hey, you did it. Um, Unreasonable and unrepeatable <laughs> luck. I certainly hope so. I hope it's not repeatable because um, that would not be fun for me. Um, I have um, taken that into account, though, because last session was so easy for you. Um, and I'm hoping tonight will not be. Um, but we did not get to the end of session stuff last time because we were running a little late. Um, so we're going to do that now. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and allot XP from last session. Um, everybody is typically in charge of their keeping track of their own XP. Um, I don't think anybody rolled any desperate rolls. Um, so nobody gets XP for that. Um, for our whisper, um, you get to earn XP anytime you address a challenge with arcane knowledge or power. Um, did you do that? I uh, I do believe I did. Okay. Um, I managed to get information by talking to a ghost, even though I failed at a lot of roles involving ghosts. This is very true. You did, but that's okay. Um, so you do get an XP for that. Um, Smoke, you get XP. Um... Wait, wait, wait. I get another XP because okay. express your beliefs drives heritage or background, and my background came in handy with finding out information at the beginning of the session. I know, but I wasn't there yet. I actually get two. Oh, I know, okay. but I wasn't there yet. I went through uh, each of them. Calm yourself. I mean, go ahead and take nah. the XP for it. Um, so each, class, each playbook has their own... Um, based on like what they specialize in, you get XP for doing that. So for instance, smoke, you get XP anytime you address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem. That is in fact true. And I both managed to find a hidden passage as well as remove the thing we were here to steal without setting off the horrible, horrible trap I'm sure was going to murder us if we did not do it correctly. This is true. By essentially destroying it. So. I prevented the trap from triggering. The details are not important. No, I, to your credit, I, to your credit, you destroyed it. And it, it you, so. um, that XP is earned for sure. For our cutter, um, did you address any challenges with violence or, co or co coercion? Words, fuck. Oh, yeah, I intimidated the F out of some prissy little priest of the Church of Ecstasy, <laughs> and she gave me plans of the underground, and yeah, I, I believe I did that. Um, now, I do want to point out, if you do something more than once, you get two XP instead of one. So it's not you get an XP per time that you do it. It's just if you do it multiple times, you get two instead of one. Um, and you can put that XP in any one of the slots that you would like to put it in. Um, now, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, nobody did a desperate action. Um, uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? I know Dirge did. What about Smoke or Sawtooth? Not that I can I, really justify. I don't believe I did. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't really think I did any of those. Okay. 
Um, did anybody struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? Nobody has trauma, so you wouldn't have. And I don't think that anybody really struggled with their vice. Okay. All right. So everybody gets AXP to put wherever they would like. Um, next, we are going to do crew heat and payoff. Um, so by default, when you complete a score, you get two rep for that score. Um, you get extra rep if you are a lower tier crew, taking on a higher tier crew. But in that instance, you guys were actually the same tier, so you don't get any extra rep. Um, open that up. Sorry, I had the wrong sheet open. Um, for crew XP, um, did you execute a successful battle, extortion, sabotage, or smash and grab operation? I think that you did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We definitely stole some stuff. <laughs> did you contend with challenges above your current station? I don't think that you did, but if you think that you did, please pitch it to me. It's hard to argue that when we when things went so smoothly. That is true, but I would I would like to note that we are not known for being a sneaky crew, apparently. So, so this is true. That being sneaky, I would actually like to take that and put it maybe in the next one. Uh, did you bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one? Hmm. Man, I I'd argue if it was if it comes out that we stole from the church that that could be considered daring, which is our current reputation. I would say, I mean, I would say that that might bolster your reputation, though. There are a few that would take on the church. Um, so, yeah, I would say, I would go ahead and I would give you an XP for that. Uh, and did you express the goals, drives, inner conflicts, or essential nature of your crew? I like money. I mean, I was going to say, yeah, your goal is to make money and to steal shit from people. So, technically, yes. Yeah. We smashed and we grabbed. <laughs> Um, so as for heat, um, your score was smooth and quiet in my opinion, unless somebody disagrees with that. Oh, it went well. Um, so you don't actually get any heat for this because you were in and out very quietly. Um, now the church will realize that somebody stole from them. So I am giving you an eight clock that the church is hunting for you. Um, if it fills up, which I'm not expecting it to fill up between this session and next, um, but if it does, it will start a new clock and that is them coming after you. Um, the next thing is your actual score. Um, between what, t uh, Tavi and paid you for doing it, um, and what you were able to sell or what, what basically what you were able to get from the score um, I'm going to say you guys earned 10 coin total. Now, Walker, who is the ward boss, expects the tithe from scores. So he is going to expect you to pay him a coin per score. Um, the rest of it is up to you guys how you want to divvy it up. And if you don't want to pay it, that's fine. That just may cause issues later. Um, I mean, I say we pay him for sure. I think we yeah. made more than our fair share of money from that heist. Yeah, no, throwing a coin at him to basically keep things quiet on the home front is fine by me. Okay. I, I'm of agreement for that, so. Okay. Uh, so that gives you nine coin to, um, spread around however you want. Well, real quick before we decide how, how to divvy it up, we're, we're we're about to hit the down times, right? Yes. Uh, since we are a tier four crew with a bunch of turfs, we actually 
have two different ways to make more coin during downtime. Uh, there's a tier roll minus heat for both protection rackets and fighting pits that we run. So, I'd say, you know, make those rolls, find out the whole amount, and then decide how to divvy. Okay. Unless anyone has a different thought. All right, no one's arguing with me, so I'm, I'm no, I'm you. I'm down for both. But I was looking at our turf, trying to figure out what we actually do and don't have. All of it. I I don't think we have that one. Uh, the have, things that I are darkened dark are what gray. you have. The things that are light gray, you do not have. Oh, it's not the yeah, black. No, we don't. No, no. It's oh, um, it's bad. just the it's just the dark stuff. So you have informants. You have two turf. You have the lair. Uh, you have terror, terror, bleh, goodness gracious, terrorized citizens, informants, turf, turf, and blue coat confederates. Oh, that's my bad. I was misreading how the map thing worked. Yeah, no worries. Never mind. Uh, I mean, there were four of us on that job, so two coin each and then one for the crew. Sounds good to me. Mark but the none window. for Lottie because she didn't help at all. <laughs> exactly. If you're not there, you don't get paid. That's not how this works. But you will get yours at the end of this one. Um, Assuming okay. we get paid. <laughs> Assuming you get paid, this is true. <laughs> we could fuck it up and die. <laughs> yeah, we could totally ruin this. And then you could just be a crew of thugs that are now ghosts, and you could just go around terrorizing and haunting the shit out of everyone. Yeah, make I love that. Personally, <laughs> I do too. Not... <laughs> if that's what you guys decide you want to do, I am here for it. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, now, you guys are a pretty established crew. People know about you. You have a history in Duskwall. Um, over the years, you all individually and together have, you know, garnered favors, commitments, debts, and promises from people that helped you get to where you are today. Um, so, based on that, I am going to do an entanglement roll for you. Um, and the way this works is this is something that is going to happen at some point. Um, and it it's kind of based on how much heat you have. So right now you guys really don't have any heat, so it's not going to be anything too terrible, I don't think, maybe. Um, now, we can do this one of two ways. I can do a private roll, and I can keep it to myself, and I can just spring it on you whenever I want. Um, or I can do it publicly, publicly, and you guys can know what's coming. You just may not know exactly when it's coming. So basically, do you guys want to know what your entanglement is going to be ahead of time, or do you just want me to surprise you with it? Maximum chaos. Let it be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fine. I'll take it. I'm okay with it being a surprise. Kel surprise. Okay. Um, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to roll 2d6. Um, if you guys had heat, that would add into it. Um, but since you guys don't, I'm going to roll, roll 2d6, two, two and I'm going to take the lowest number. Um, All right, watch your face very carefully, you guys. All right, so let me see what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So I, I like know that. what that I is. Like that face. What? It is a normal face. I don't like the face. Whatever. I don't like it's the face. I don't like the face. It's fine. You know what? It's so fine. You don't have to like the face. It's fine. Um, at some point in the future, um, a thing will happen. Um, this thing is going to happen regardless. There's nothing that you can do to stop this thing from happening. Um, so you can't like use a flashback to get out of it. Um, you'll just have to deal with it in the moment. So, from that, we're going to do downtime activities. Um, each of you gets two downtime activities for free. Um, after that, additional activities cost either a coin or a rep. 
Um, there's a couple of them that you guys don't really need to do, in my opinion. Um, reduce heat and recover. You guys don't have any heat to recover or to reduce, and you don't have any health that you need to recover. Um, you can acquire an asset, which is a temporary use of, you can do like a cohort, um, a special item, a vehicle, um, a service, that sort of thing. Um, you can start a long-term project or you can um, indulge your vice, which gets rid of your stress. Um, be aware though, you can overindulge, which gives you a whole new set of problems. Um, so we're gonna go around, because Grim and Kid have done this before, we're gonna start with them. Um, Grim, what would you like to do for your first downtime activity? You know, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to indulge in Dirge's Vice. Okay. What is Dirge's Vice? Dirge's Vice is pleasure. Okay. So he's going to go pay Madam Silvermoon a visit. Okay. And uh, have some fun. All right. Give me that indulging your vice roll, please. Uh, John, just so you know, for indulging your vice, if you look over on the, the side where the, the two dice are, um, and you click it, you can click indulge vice, indulge vice, yeah, I said that right, um, and it'll, it'll do it for you. Uh, let me check. Thank you for pointing that out. You I was, I was like looking at my character sheet, like, how do I roll? <laughs> Hooray, I get to clear all of my stress. All right. We're going to go. I don't overindulge, which is great. Um, so we're going to go around. We're going to let everybody do one, and then we'll come back and do the second one. Is that okay? Or do you sure. just want to do both of them and get it out of the way? I mean, you're you're in charge here. I hate being in charge. Um, Kit, what would you like to do for your first downtime activity? I was going to indulge my vice as well. What's your vice? Gambling! Sweet! You know, the perfect choice for the leech who plays with chemicals. Now, where is the, the indulge vice button? So, if you look over um, on the left-hand side, where all of, like, the options are, if you see, like, the two dice option, if you, the dice roll, uh, and then click indulge, or check indulge gotcha. dice. Click. Um, let's do it! Oof! You overindulge. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so why not? You get to uh... choose attract <laughs> trouble, rag, and get two heat. Um, you vanish for a couple of weeks and you return after a bender. Um, or you are tapped. Your current purveyor cuts you off. Well... I feel like it's a bad idea to get lost, considering this is a short run game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we can say that the next score happens when you come back from your vendor. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that you know what? A while. Things have gone too well for us. I'm gonna brag. Of course you are. That's amazing. <laughs> we got through it with absolutely zero chance of anyone knowing what we did, so I'm gonna tell everyone. Um, so I am also going to add on that um, there's going to be a tick of the clock for that because that's fair. Word is gonna get around. Um, so you have two heat, and now you have two ticks on your clock for the church is hunting for who robbed them. Ooh, doing a great job. <laughs> and we have eight ticks on that clock. You said. Uh, so it's yeah, it's left. yeah. There's six left. Um, so you know what? You might be right, kid. You might I actually. Told you I could get us up that clock. I told you. <laughs> I can make it happen. John, what would you like to do for your first? Um, third time's a charm. I am also going to indulge my vice. Amazing. Give me that um, roll, please. Trying to trying to knock what's back. What's your a vice? Couple. Oh yeah, what's your vice? By oh, the way, my vice. <laughs> sorry, my my vice is stupor, which uh, means I like to get. I like to get drunk. Super high. Um, you also drunk. failed, um, so you overindulged. So would you like to attract trouble, uh, brag, mm -hmm. get lost for a couple of weeks, or get cut off? I, I will say I am very attracted to the idea of just of disappearing. <laughs> I think that's really fun, but I don't 
uh, like Kit, I do not believe this. Uh, that will be very um, helpful for our game. So I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with um, attract trouble. See what uh, see yeah. what that happens. Okay. I don't want to give us any more heat. Okay. Um. Entangle. Do you entangle. want to know what this entanglement is, or do you want me to surprise it with you at a later time? Um, <laughs> I will. T I'll take it now. Okay. Um. see what I want to do okay um you coming out of the drug den that you were in in your stupor um did he just did he fall off because he doesn't want to know what I'm going to do to him no no that was Lottie apparently oh, it was Lottie, Lottie. Okay. Froze. <laughs> I was going to say that is perfect timing um no i'm still here i'm still here, I'm still here. um I'm not my in your stupor um oh wait let me see let me see your sheet really quick um you... i have some people you might be able to use event against me i do um a blue coat grabs you as you're coming out of your drug den um he wants to question you um in response to a crime that was committed and they have evidence that you were involved um, you can make a fortune roll to see if you can resist the questioning um, or you can try to buy, you can buy him off with a coin. Um, okay, I have three coin because of the two that I got from, um, our, our heist. A fortune roll. Um, let me ask this question. Is there yeah. anything that I can do to give me better chances in my fortune roll? I mean, you can push or... yourself. You can take a devil's bargain. Um... Well, I already have some stress, and I don't really want to needlessly gain myself more um i mean you could always go in and attempt to answer the questions um um okay okay well okay let's 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 go this way then um mm -hmm. what exactly is he um trying to say that i'm involved with a stash house was hit a couple of weeks ago and this particular blue coat is on that gang's payroll um, and he specifically has the name sawtooth did it um, so either somebody is framing you or he has bad information so because I mean, unless you guys were hitting stash houses, it has. I'm thinking that this is some bad information. So I, I mean, how? What can I do to like? What can I do to fight this? I guess exact is kind of really what I'm asking. Um. So you can either do the fortune roll, or you can do. Um, I mean, you could try to do a command roll to see if you can intimidate him into leaving you alone, if you want. And I mean, you could technically use your savage to see if you can scare him too, if you wanted to go that route. 
Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, maybe. Is that what you want to do? Uh, we'll uh, let's see. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna command. I'm gonna try and do a command. Okay. Um. I'm using my savage ability, which allowed me to roll an extra die there. I got a partial success. So I'm going to say that I'm drunkenly, like, kind or, or whatever sort of um, intoxication I am in. I'm going to kind of, like, push the blue coat against the wall and just be like, Now listen here, buddy. I didn't nothing. I got nothing to do with any that kind of I don't even know that gang. If I ever hear you coming up to me asking me about anything like this ever again, you're gonna be sorry about that. Buddy, I'm the cream of the crop. I'm the best bass there is. You don't want to man love with the sawtooth. <laughs> he um is kind of shocked that you did that. Um, so he kind of like pushes you off of him and he starts kind of, um, backing away from you. Um, and you do, you do succeed and he, you know, oh, well, fine, I'll, I'll, you know, look into it a little bit more, but I'm, I'm watching you. And as he leaves, so you now have a blue coat, um, keeping a close eye on you, which is your, your consequence right. to this. Um, do I get a clock for that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let, let's let's do that. I mean, it could be a clock of either he finds something to blame you for, or he loses interest. I mean, it's not like we're oh, not yeah. doing crimes. I'm gonna title it "The Blue Coat Is Looking for Evidence Against You." Um. I'm gonna do an eight clock. I am gonna give do one little slice filled because they do have your name. Um, I think I have to. Might I think uh, because of this, I might have to pay somebody a visit later. Maybe. Um, all right, Dirge. What's your second downtime activity? Um, I am aware that I have drawn the attention of ghosts. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to uh, essentially reset or purge my presence to get them to back the fuck off. How would you like to do that? Um, I feel like there's probably some place where I can go to sort of, like, reset myself, either like one of the like an actual park in town that's got a nice little grove or maybe just a graveyard where i can just be like hey look ghost energy in ghost energy out now i look like somebody different spiritually in some ways would you call that a long-term project or would you call it more recovery of sorts i guess i would say it's probably a long-term project because i'm i'm basically trying to um mask my own presence okay and that's not something that i'm going to easily be able to do uh without some potential repercussions later on down the road okay um So I would say, um, give me it probably in a tune roll. I would think to try to to do that, unless you have a better a better idea. Seems fine by me. Okay. Um, it would be a six clock for that. Um, so you got a four. Uh, so you get two segments filled for that. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Um, Smoke, what's your second? Um, are you going to try to indulge your vice again? Of course I'm going to try and indulge my vice Excellent. again. Excellent. I, I need to gamble. Excellent. Woo! Hey! There Very we nice. Go. That's actually useful. Uh, Drop back down to one stress. Very, very nice. Sawtooth, what about you? Would you like to try to indulge uh, your vice again? Can you give me, um, can you give me the rundown of what I can do one more time? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can try to acquire a a, a temporary use of an asset. Uh, so basically, you could, um get the temporary use of a a gang of like thugs or or an expert of some kind that you guys can use temporarily um the use of a special item or a set of common items uh a vehicle or some sort of service so if you needed like a smuggler for for some reason or if you needed like the use of a warehouse for something temporarily that sort of thing um you can start a long-term project, um, which, I mean, could be anything that you really want to work on. Um, you can train. Um, so in your downtime, you would pick um, either Insight, Prowess, or Resolve, one of those to train, um, and you get um, an XP in, that, in one of those, whichever one that you train. Um, if you have, well, I mean, you do have heat now. You can try to reduce your heat, um, indulge your vice. If you were missing health, you could, um, recover. So you could seek treatment from a physiker, um, to try to heal your wounds, um, and then indulging your vice. Um... Uh, okay, how would I roll to lower? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do my vice again. I think. Um, okay. Hopefully, I don't roll bad. Let's see what I get, please. No. That is another failure. Um. I'm so. Um, okay. I would say brag, get lost, or tapped. Um. And tapped, tapped is just like whatever place I'm at yes. right now. It doesn't so, serve me anymore. Yes, you would have to find a new. So like say say drugs were your thing, you would have to find a new drug den that would accept like let you in. Um, if alcohol is your thing, you would have you would be kicked out of the bar and you would have to find a new bar that sort of thing. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Um, I'm going to go with tapped and I'm going to okay. say whatever bar that I'm currently at that the blue coat um, was tailing me in saw that I like messed with the blue coat and I tried to like order more drinks and shit and they're like yeah you can't do that you gotta leave so sadly you are no longer welcome in the tank and spank um, you will have to find a new bar I'm sorry wait a minute Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. I actually totally lied to you. Um, okay. I, I actually totally lied to you. I the tank and spank that is the bar with my with my hot redhead. It is. Barmaid. It is. No, no, I can't. No. Ooh, He's like, I can't be allowed to. I can't not. I can't be not allowed at the Tankins Bank anymore. Needs his redheaded hottie. I do. They helped out so much last game. Damn it! I'm so sorry. Um, no worries. I I will let you change it though. If you want to do, uh, lost, or if you want to get more heat, that's totally fine. Yeah, uh, you know what? Honestly, before, before, uh, before, 
kit bragged about i was like i would totally be bragging about this if i was doing that so both I of us can make bad decisions it's yeah fine. absolutely that's okay i'm i'm gonna i just i can't i can't lose the tank and spank i just i can't do it you know? <laughs> i'll take the brag i'll take the um, i'll take the heat oh, all right okay <laughs> can't lose her that is amazing i'm so happy with these decisions okay so downtime is over um wait wait wait, wait. hold wait. on did i forget something we can spend money for more. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you? Is we there can. something that you guys else would that you guys would like to do? Yes. Well, what is oh, it? Yeah. I was waiting. What is it? Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and go first. Uh, I will spend a coin so that I can uh, craft some stuff as my yeah you know, as I am want to do. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you crafting? Let's see, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's get some fire oil. Don't okay. worry, it's a completely normal thing to have. Sure. All right. Let's All right, see. so let me make that tinker roll. Boop. That looks like I have the right tab open. Nope, that's still the wrong one. Okay. Awesome. So when crafting is uh with a success is a uh a fire oil is a tier three item. I start off at tier four because we're a tier four crew because you made us way higher than I was expecting to allow to be allowed to get away with. Yeah. Yep. Uh so Yeah, that should mean success even. Yep. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Hooray for fire oil. Okay. Mm. Let me try to check something real quick. Yeah. Brain's having a moment. Uh, since I am above. <laughs> uh, nope, I would require that. Never mind. I'm done. Okay. Anybody hmm. else? Yes. What are you doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some coin uh to try again to erase my presence because this is a dangerous thing for the church to be able to have ghosts to look for me. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was the wrong oh, clock. Nope, that is the wrong clock. There we go. That is the right clock. I forget. I use... Um, you did a tune last time, I believe. Yeah, so a tune again. Okay. Oh, wait. That's another two. Excellent. Uh, so you just have two more left, and then the... Uh, the ghosts well, will have stopped. I, I will try it one more time. All right. Oof, that is only one. Why? It's a full success. Oh, shit, yeah. wrong one. Sorry. No. Six. Sorry. I didn't it, the 6 <laughs> didn't pop up for me at first. It it uh you're I was looking at the dice, not the actual like chat bar and it rolled on my screen a 6 and or a, a 2 and a 1. Uh, so I thought it was just a one. So yes, no, it is. That will teach me to look at that instead of the other one. Okay, so both of those are gone now. Um, no more ghosts hunting me. Even though I made three attune rolls, which made it closer to them finding me, I eventually erased myself. They were like, huh? Where did he go? Anything and else? It only cost most of your profits. Right? <laughs> I mean, it costs all of my profits, but you know what? It was worth erasing my presence for. How do I spend a coin? Just uh, just get Take rid it of it off. on my little coin stash. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you trying it again? Okay. So, <laughs> so something something I wanna I want to advise you of here. Your coin is what you have on hand. Your stash is what you have put away. Right. Because your character can win at this game. 
by reaching enough stash and retiring yeah yeah um, okay that's fine um and in time like you can since you're like at the lair and doing downtime stuff you can take it you can take it from your stash instead of like what you have on you um okay I, um, I what's the difference i guess is like coin kind of coin is what you actually have on your person stash is what you have yeah, stashed can away I, uh, so I, stash uh you you can per, you can turn coin into stash on a one for one basis if you don't have any coin but you need some to convert it backwards it's a two for one so you sacrifice two not, stash to get I'm one not, coin that is that is how it technically works but i'm not worried about that with two sessions left since it's just a short thing i'm not worried about it so we're just going one for one both ways is what you're yeah. saying yeah if this was okay, like a long-term actual campaign then we then that's how we would do it but since we're just doing two more i don't really care or doing one more after this i don't really care sweet i'm gonna um okay i don't know whether i sh should uh try to indulge my vice again <laughs> or if How much I stress should, do you have? Three. I don't have that much. But now that I did do that other thing, I'm thinking maybe I can do something to maybe like lower our heat. Because you said that was an option, right? That is that an is option. Exactly the thing. Um, um Yeah, can I do that? What can I do to to uh I mean it depends what it depends on what you want to do. Um Okay, so our heat has to deal with the church, yeah? So can I, like, well, maybe... The heat, no, the heat is is from bragging about the job, but it's basically the cops. The more heat you get, like, if your your heat fills up, then there's a chance that you're going to get arrested and put into jail. Um, heat so, is always with the cops. Yeah, heat is always the cops. Um, so if you want to try to reduce your heat... Um, you tell me what is it, what it is that you want to do. Um, the example that they give in the book is maybe you use a uh, consort, uh, with your friend who is a blue coat, um, who you kind of work it out with them that they're going to get rid of evidence that they may have. Um, you could attempt to, um, command people so they're afraid to snitch on you um that sort of thing so you it, it's basically however you want to, to say you're doing this you tell me and then you roll to see um how much heat you get rid of okay but i have to know somebody in the um Maybe. it depends on what no. you want to do um if you're going to do something like consort or like if you're going to consort with a friend, then yeah, you would, it would need to be a friend. But if you're going to like try to intimidate people from snitching on you, you don't necessarily have to know them. You're just like, you're going to make sure that the, the people on the streets aren't going to snitch, um, that sort of thing. So you don't necessarily need to know them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do a command roll and okay. um, basically intimidate. Um, can I can I use my savage again with that or mm -hmm. no? Yeah. Okay. You, you reduced it by two. first one didn't even happen all right is there anything else anybody wants to do for downtime no let's get into it okay um so since the whole church score um you guys have heard some rumors um dirge and sawtooth um, you were at the drunken Leviathan and Walker tells you that there was some prick here a couple of days ago. Um, he was kind of boasting that, um, 
no other crew can touch the gold knuckles. Um, they don't even bother locking up their scores. Um, Smoke, you heard something similar. Um, you overheard a woman at the Silver Stack Casino when you were gambling, um, basically saying the gold knuckles just got a huge payout, um, and they have redecorated their lair with this with the score. Um, Heartbreaker, you recently had drinks with your friend Bezo Baz. Um, mm. During this, he told you that they actually, this other crew, actually tried to shake him down, um, which, I mean, you know him very well. Uh, there's nothing really that they can do to shake him down. He is open about what he does. He gives no shits. Um, he also heard rumors that they think that they are so badass that no other crew has the balls to hit them. Um he also tells you that he he's heard a couple of rumors that maybe these boastings are just a front. Um, but you guys are all at your lair now after hearing all of this. Um, and the floor is yours before we gather information and do an engagement roll. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? Um, is there anything you guys want to do? Or is yours? I will say you guys do know of the Gold Knuckles. They are your rivals. Um, they are another higher tier group of thugs, um, though they specialize in extortion as um, as opposed to smash and grab. Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. Do they have a member by the name of Grace? No, actually. Oh, okay. Well. I only asked You're all list. Oh no, did we lose them? Lost the kid. Did we lose Grim too? Them... No, it was just Kit apparently. Okay. Discord has been really weird. It like when it stopped me, it like made me completely re-upload and re-download the entire thing. Oh wow. Hello. Yeah, was... Hello. For some reason, Discord decided to close. I don't yeah. know why. Anyways, despite the brief blip where I ceased to exist for a brief period of time, yeah, fuck the golden knuckle. <laughs> Those guys no. are jerks. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing boasting about stuff? Only we're allowed to do that. This is, this is either one of two things. They're either... Um... Supremely confident that uh, nothing's going to happen. Uh, you know, people thinking their reputation is going to be able to protect them. Or this is a trap. Um, I like the idea of saying, fuck you guys. This is, our, this is our stuff anyway. I've yet to meet the trap that can handle being set on fire. <laughs> There's nothing these two fists can't solve. I say we pay those golden nuggets a visit. Nuggets? That's the best you had? <laughs> really? Come on, man. I we're we're like better it. than that. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. So we're going to actually do gathering information the way it's supposed to work tonight. Um, I like doing it the way we did it the other the last week because I like – role play i like to encourage role play i think it's a lot of fun but it takes a while so um the way it works is um you each get a question um what is one piece of information that you want to know about what you're going to do um and then tell me how you want to go about getting that information um and again, you can intimidate somebody into giving you whatever piece of information you want. You can follow them to to a stash house, for example, to find out where they keep their goods, that sort of thing. Um, so it's whatever whatever question you have for me. Um, and then we will do the roll. Sometimes um, we won't do an actual action roll. It may just be a fortune roll. It just kind of depends on the situation. Um, but yeah, so... Kit, do you have a question yeah. for me? I do. What is your question? Uh, 
I would like to know what they have in the way of uh, defenses and or alarms. Like, uh, they're talking a big game, and theoretically their stuff's right in the open, so they got to be doing something, right? Okay. And what kind of role would you like to do to find this out? Uh, either, say, study or sway? Unless I can justify tinker under trying to, like, look at what they've got. So that's probably, that might be a stretch. Yeah. Um, I would say, um, if you want to use sway, um, who, who are you looking to, to sway? Like, well, for if this, this is, uh, if this is a higher level, uh, gang, they probably have, you know, some cohorts, some thugs that they, you know, use to do stuff who are not really part of the gang, but have been used for work. Okay. That uh, sort of guy. Okay, yeah, I would say either, yeah, if you want to do sway, that's fine. If you want to do um, survey or study, that's fine, too. You just tell me what you want to do. All right, I will do sway. Okay. Remember the plus one we get for our informants. Oh. Hey, a five. Okay. Um There are no There are no traps or guards or anything like that at the actual lair. The lair is located in Crow's Foot. Um mm -hmm. There is There is a hidden hatch somewhere in the stash house or in the the lair. Oh no. Yeah, apparently his Discord went out again. Rude. Discord is being very spicy today. That is yeah. Discord is, is being full of Discord. <laughs> oh. Hello again. There's a hidden hatch and apparently I just fell through it. Apparently you did. <laughs> Um, this person has never actually been down the hatch. They don't know where it leads. Um, but they do know that either the hatch itself, what one end of the hatch is locked. Um, whether it's the hatch leading down into wherever this goes or the hatch that comes out the other side, but they don't know. They just know that one of them normally is locked. Um, but other than that, in the lair itself, there is no... No traps. Okay. okay. That's dumb. They're dumb. <laughs> they should <All> definitely right. <laughs> put traps. <laughs> Next time. Next time. After this, definitely. Um, Dirge, what would you like to ask me? Uh, I want to know what kind of uh, spiritual defenses they might have. And what kind of role would you like to do for that? Uh, well, I'm going to try and send a ghost scout, so a tune? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. I got a five. Okay. Um, There is no, there is no spiritual traps or energy or anything like that in the actual lair. Is that where they're keeping the money? Like from the rumors that we've heard. Yeah, no, from the rumors that you've heard, um... They're just leaving their shit out in the open um, because they don't think anybody is badass enough to actually walk in there and take it. I feel like that's the trap, but that's that's uh, that's me being paranoid. So I'm going to share that with the group, by the way. Okay. I'm just kind of assuming that you're all sharing this information together. Um, Sawtooth, is there a question you would like to ask me? Do we know where their 
thing is already located, like where their stash house is? Do we have that information? Um, Only because I'm no. on, on Crow's Foot, there are two things listed. Okay. Then I'd like to find out where the store house is. I'd like to um, okay. I'd like to find out where they're keeping this mystery gold that they apparently are so keen on getting stolen. How would you like to do uh, that? So we have one thing unlocked, lost Kit. He's going to restart his computer. Hopefully that helps okay. keep him from getting kicked out. Okay. Um. Um. You know, I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is intimidate people. Okay. Um, let's, um, go ahead and make the roll and then we'll go ahead and take a quick break and let Kit come back and then we will get back into this if that is okay with everybody. Can I, and I have one other question perhaps maybe, um, can I get, can I have like my buddy, my buddy, um, Marlene, who is a skilled fighter Uh like myself, can I employ, can I like have him help me? Um. See if he like. Can I can I have him help in a sense of like, I can gain extra dice in this roll, or am I just gonna have to push myself if I want that? No, you know what? I I would allow that actually. I think your buddy would absolutely show up with you and look terrifying with you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm thinking like me and him can like maybe corner some um golden golden boys and yeah. rough them up a little bit they can give us our secret their secrets on like Absolutely. where their storehouse is located um and some other useful information perhaps maybe we don't have to take a break yes i return welcome back um see if it helps um, but yeah go ahead and give me that intimidate roll Let's go! Okay. okay, so the the lamp black warehouse, this is circled. This is where um Heartbreaker's friend, uh Bezo Baz, that's where um his is. Um I circled that just so I would remember it and then I forgot to take it off. So apologies for the multiple markers, but um Watery Lane is where the lair is. Um and Do I will I give you any other information. I was going to say because you got a six and you have another buddy with you, and you guys are looking pretty fucking terrifying. Um, the person that you are intimidating lets slip that they also have a warehouse nearby. Ooh, and what would what kind of things would be in the warehouse? More gold or? They don't know. Weapons, maybe they, they don't, don't know. know. They so just know on, that. Um, the bottom road. Yeah, that is where the warehouse is, um, behind the leaky bucket. Um, th- yeah, they don't know. They don't know what's kept in there. They they're a lower level person. They just know they've been. They've had to like go out and and guard it from the outside, but they've never actually been trusted to be let in. Um, so that is what you get from your role. Ooh, heartbreaker. Do you have a question for me? Oh, I'm like, I don't know what to ask, honestly. Um, I've been trying to, like, figure out what to do. You can workshop it if somebody has an idea yeah, for a heartbreaker. Any suggestions, just because I'm a little, I've never, I've never done this, please. I mean, the number of people likely to be there. Would be something. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, that'd Hit be a number handy of... bit of info. Okay. Yeah. How many people am I expecting? How How would you like to get this information? Um... I will let you do have a lot of sway, so you could absolutely, and that's like that's like your whole thing is like you could absolutely like flirt and try to seduce the information out of somebody if you want, and that would absolutely okay. be considered a sway. And if you can give me a background with this person that you can tie into it, like an intimate relationship that you've had with this person in the past, 
um, and you can tie them to this whole thing and give me a reason why they would know this information, um, you can use, you can get the extra dice from one of your skills. Okay. Um... From your trust in me. Okay. Um, can I, like, somebody that I would know from, like, a, like, the tavern owner that I have, the Clyre, Clyra, would they know? Well, who is, who are you talking to right now? The person at the Lampback Warehouse? Who is that person? Um, Again? uh, Bezo Bass. He is the leader of the Lamp Blacks. Oh, Bezo Bass. No, he's my buddy. Like, I know him. We're exes. Yeah, you could, that is so, somebody that, if he doesn't ex know the... They're, they're still friends. Um, yeah, that is Everybody definitely somebody is, that no, I mean, like, um, would get the information for you if you didn't know. Perfect, yeah. I want to get it from him. So I'm when sure he'll you, get it from me because we're great. When you click on uh, Sway, where it says modifier, um, add an extra dice to that because you can use your trust in me for that. Um, and then just leave it risky and standard and hit roll. Big money, no way. Consider roll. Big money, no way. Failure. Oh, I mean. So okay, that doesn't mean you don't get anything. Um, it just means that you get incomplete or partial information. Um, so he does not know one hundred percent. Um. But based on um, the little bit of information that he has been able to get, um, at the lair itself, there is generally no more than seven people there. So no anywhere from well, anywhere from zero people to seven people um, is is what you know. That's less than twenty. So that's better than nothing um i'm gonna tell the rest of my my friends uh what i know what i've heard like sorry it's not a lot but it's all i got all right you just got one of your exes couldn't you have like you know waved those Wave those fun bags of yours a little bit more. <laughs> I was wondering how you were planning to end that sentence. I'm just going to pretend you didn't say that. And I'm going to uh, just keep moving forward. That's probably for the best. Um, all right. Um... Well, let's go ahead, um, because uh, Grim had to step away, and we're getting ready to get into the engagement role, and I want to make sure you're all here for that. So why don't we go ahead and take a quick break, and then um, when we get back, we can do the engagement role, and we can throw you into this um, cool. totally normal thing that's going to happen. Um, cool. All right, so we'll be back in about five, ten minutes, and cool. um, then we'll get into this. Yay! Yay! Huzzah, we are back. Um, okay, we did gathering information, and now we're going to do engagement roles. You guys are going to pick how you guys want to do this. We're going to do your loadouts, and then we're going to throw you in the middle of this and see um, see what happens. Um, so what kind of plan do you guys want to do for this? Assault, deception, stealth, occult, social, or transport? Man, assault. I mean, there's only Fuck seven yeah. people. Assault. <laughs> Fuck yeah, yes, let's like the, the the way to do this. I am so excited about that. Yeah, okay. we're gonna fuck them up. All right, so we're gonna do assault. You guys get an automatic plus one, um, because of your crew for that. Um, so let me add that. Uh, let me. We're already so good at stuff. Um. Okay, so advantages and disadvantages. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? Hmm. We're going I mean, after our right. They're on our level. Um, 
and they're like, look at us, we're badass. We're like, motherfuckers, we're more badass. I mean, we are just basically walk kicking in their front door and taking their stuff. <laughs> I don't Bold is a kind way to put it, but that is the type of boldness I assume. Aggressive is another way to put it, but I still approve. I, I, I mean... I was gonna say, I mean, we're we're definitely being daring. I will give you that. Mm. Um, is this operation overly complex or contingent on many factors? No. From what Not we really. know, I don't think so. But um, I mean, our plan is kick down the door, grab their stuff, leave. Yeah. Break it down. There's three steps. Beat up, beat up some golden shower boys and leave. Your name really gets more ridiculous each time. <laughs> um, He's having a blast. <laughs> good. <laughs> Does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they are weakest? I mean, their money's right out in the open. Come on. Yeah, it's pretty vulnerable. They don't have any, based on what we found out, they don't have any traps or spiritual traps or guards or anything. Okay. Is the target strongest against this approach, or do they have particular defenses or special preparations? Um, not that we know of. Not, not that, that you we're know. aware of. Um, They're going to have some crazy, like, these people inside are going to be like... Oh, it's 100% a trap, but it's fine. They're going to they're gonna be nuts. It's going to be insane. You're going to feel very bad when you get in there, and it's not a trap. Maybe not. Actually, I want to feel pretty good because I just get to burn <laughs> down their house. Yeah. So, take their stuff. Can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Uh, not really on my end. Um, I mean, depending on how much gold we make from this, I can throw my my buddy who helped me get the information who might also... I don't know if they'll come with us. I don't know if they can, I can do that, but um, I could have my big nah, beefy. To get more people to come with us, we got to um, one of the downtime actions is I, get an asset. Yeah. Uh, one of the assets yeah. you can get is a cohort, which is basically mooks. Then never mind. I lied. I mean, shouldn't we already have a cohort? Like as part of being a crew? Not, ne not necessarily. Not automatically. Mm -hmm. It's something you guys that, have to get. Our... Um, are there any enemies or rivals interfering with this operation? I mean, presumably them. Well, no, that was yeah, more. Of, that's more of a question so. for me. Um, oh. I'm. I'm not going to take a dice away from you for that. Um, okay. Oh. Are there any other elements you want to consider? That this is probably a trap. <laughs> We are prepared for this to not be as simple as it seems. Um, like, we're all going in with the notion that there's more going on than we know. Um, uh, that's fair, also, but I'm not going to give you an extra dice for that, because you guys kind of always do that. Also? I, I was going to say, also, we have... Um, uh, I was going to say, we have ways to make uh, distractions, um, but uh, we'd need time to set those up. And I think, I, I don't think that, that would actually be useful right now, but yeah. Yeah, um, that's because the, that would be a flashback thing. I'm not going to give you a dice for that. Can I, can I ask a question about something? Yeah. On our cruise sheet, there, we, have, we have a thing called Blue Coat Confederates which allows us a plus one dice um, engagement for assault plans. Yeah, I gave, um, I, already, I already put that in here, in there for that. You already did that, okay. Never mind, didn't yep. forget. Then I lied no worries. To you. Okay, so unless anybody has any other um, idea that they would like to pitch me for an extra dice, I think we are good for the roll. You are at three dice. Okay. 
Awesome! <laughs> yes! You I guys totally are gonna just for that last session. Um, the bright side is that all of your desperate rolls are going to be XP for you. So yay! Right? Maybe? Whatever. Um, Let's do it! All wow, right. Are we fucked? <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> so this this is gonna change all of the roles that we do now. Instead of risky, they're gonna be desperate. Desperate. Yeah. At least until we manage to crawl our way back to up to just regular risky. Um. Plus the situation. <laughs> We're in suspense. Suspense. I told him. I told him that we lost him, and the first word out of his mouth was a very emphatic. Damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm back. God damn it! All right, so no, let's do it. Yes. All right. Um. So, the the lair you've been told is on Watery Lane, um, which is right here. Um, the warehouse you've been told is over here on this. In case I can't, I didn't. I don't know if Grim, you were here for that, but that is supposedly the warehouse that they have. Um. So. How'd we fuck it up? I don't know, to be honest. Give me a sec, because this was not <laughs> supposed to be... <laughs> this was not supposed to be something that, like, was going to be difficult, if I'm being completely honest. Um, or at least this first part. Um, okay, I mean, me... you could let us re-roll. <laughs> no. Why would I do that? Um, okay. So... Oh, that is the wrong one. We kick in the door, and then everyone, there's like 20 dudes, all with the guns, who just point at us. Yeah, and just go, waiting. Well, sh what? Okay, so you approach ready to assault this building that you are assuming there's at least seven guys in, right? As you're kind of like just gung-hoing, just... Are you kicking down the door? Are you are you letting your leech blow up the door? Are you letting your cutter burst through the door? What is your intent to get through this door? Before I tell you um, how fucked you are. I like the idea of blowing up the door. All right, let's blow up the door. Okay. Yeah. Ah, boom. Blow it up. Blow it up. Doors right. are for suckers. I was going to say, I'm cool with blowing up the door, or I'm cool with also just running cool, in, man. busting it down, but busting it down sexual style. <laughs> Please don't what? fuck the door. <laughs> we don't fuck the door. There's so many splinters. You will not enjoy it. The <laughs> so door might, splinters. though. <laughs> Give me... Or it might not. This is true. Give me the tinker roll to blow up. For... I just kind of want to see how badly this Should goes for you. Yeah, let's, let's sure. Wreck. Woo! I Bam! Did. Come on, baby. Partial success. Hey, you got some XP. I did, cause everything's desperate, cause we're so okay. <laughs> um. So you blow up the door. Um. As you guys are so intent to just kind of rush in and kill everything that you see, um, no one really notices the one person on the roof kind of ducked down hiding. Um, and this person, as the door explodes, um, pats her crow that she has on her shoulder and whispers something to it. And the crow takes off and flies in the direction of the warehouse. As you guys enter this lair, um, it is a very open floor plan in, in like the sitting area. Um, it almost kind of looks like a small house. Um, there are stairs that lead up um, to the back. There's some double doors that are open. Um, and then there's like one or two other doors down here. Um, it is quiet and there is nobody here. But the crow... We've been had is going to alert people that people are in the stash house. 
So, if you guys want to look around for shit before other people get here... I mean, wasn't it um, that stuff was just out in the open? It was. Um, but they didn't say where in the open it was. I mean, there's there's multiple rooms that it could be in. Uh, game on. Okay. Actually, no, we'll save that though because we don't know if it's the gang or if it's the cops. Do, do, do. Let's give this. I'm gonna say a six o'clock for this, just to be, just to be generous. Um, so yeah, so there's two doors like to the left that are closed. There's a set of double doors in the back past the little kitchen that is open. And then there's stairs that lead up, which has several other rooms upstairs. Um, you have a six o'clock before backup shows up. You don't know if it's going to be a gang, gang members, or if it's going to be the cops. Where do you want to search? Uh, I'm going to check the double doors. Okay. Um, are you guys staying together or are you splitting up? Um, uh, I don't really see any issue with us kind of like splitting up a little bit. Okay. Just to like cover more ground. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll amble about. Okay. I was uh, going to say, uh, could I, do I have to like roll, could, could I like rex, wreck to like, See if I could like break some doors down to like check and see if, if they anything's going on. Or... I'm not gonna make you roll for it unless I mean if you really want to to get the XP you can absolutely roll for it. Mm -hmm. um, um, are you going upstairs? Or are you staying downstairs? Um, I'll go. If no one else is going up is head upstairs, I'll go upstairs. I guess. Okay. What about the smoke and heartbreaker? Are you guys staying downstairs? Or are you going upstairs? Um, I kind of want to go upstairs. Can I use like something to kind of, I don't know, just uh, look more? I don't know. I want to. Yeah, roll you can. Something. Um, you can survey. do survey. You could do study. I would. Yeah, I would allow. Uh, I would allow study. Um, okay, one of I'll those do would be fine. survey. Okay. I have zero in both, so it doesn't matter. Oh no! But you still oh, passed. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch! Yeah. Oh, I got a partial success. Okay. Um, what about you, Smoke? What are you doing? Uh, you know, I guess I'll be at the downstairs, and I'll start setting the place up to catch fire. Okay. Um. We'll get back Finger? to that in just a second. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Um, did you want to do your rec roll, uh, Saltu? Um, I can. I was also looking at. I have. Some, I have a skill in hunt. Um, I was also thinking: is is there a way I can maybe um. Uh, flashback to. Um, when we blew up the door and maybe I could see the, um, see the, the crow or the girl where the girl went, um, to maybe I can like catch her off guard and fuck her up a little bit. I don't know that you would use hunt for that. Well, uh, you carefully track a target. You might follow a person to discover their location, arrange an ambush. Mm. I feel like that's kind of like that skill, no? It depends. Are you are you gonna follow her? Like, if she leaves, are you gonna follow her? Or are you just are you just trying to notice her so you can attack her? Because um, if you're if I'm you're trying just to like maybe cut her off if she's like if she is on the roof. Okay. And I'm headed upstairs. Maybe I can cut her off and find and like maybe she can I don't know. I would say it's probably a to for the flashback, it's probably um a survey. Okay, okay, how about this? How about this? Can I can I use hunt to maybe note like see that like someone has been here recently? And like went up the stairs, went up to the roof. 
tracking this person if I'm not even not even like disregard the flashback thing. Just... I will say you can use hunt and I will leave it at that. <clears throat> I mean, there's nothing. Uh, whatever. Desperado. Okay. Um, Dirge, you're going through the doors, right? Okay. Correct. I'm looking around for treasure. All right. So. Actually, we're going to get back down to that because that's going to be fun. Um, Heartbreaker, you went upstairs, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so upstairs is nothing but bedrooms. Uh, the doors are all unlocked. Um, there's not a whole lot of interesting things upstairs. In one of the rooms, you find a, a pouch of silver. Um, so you, you guys will have an extra coin at the end of this. Um, in another room, you find a note in a desk um, that says something that I have. Um, um, it says that the warehouse better be locked tight, um, that they cannot lose anything that's in the warehouse. Um, in another room, you find a ledger um, that is basically a list of everything or maybe not everything but a lot of what should be in the warehouse um and it is a lot of like really expensive art there's like crates of really really rare like whiskeys um Ooh. um very very expensive items um yummy downstairs for the hunt roll, you notice there has been a lot of people going um, in and out of this hatch that's down there, or that's in that's in this room, in the back room. Um, you do notice footsteps going up, um, and if you go up there, you don't immediately see access to the roof. So if there was somebody on the roof, they would ha they would have had to like probably gone up from the back from outside. Um, but you do know that there are a lot of people that have been going through this hatch. Um, the room itself. Did you say earlier? I'm sorry. I'm sorry no, to cut you off. Um, did you did you say earlier when you were telling us about Kit's information? or smokes information that there was a hatch that no one really knew where it was and that was how they were transporting stuff um or there was some sort of like underground there was a hatch somewhere in the stash the house same... um and you so this is the hatch yeah you that, can you can that assume that this is about? the same hatch yeah um okay there's a couple of things like out in the open there's a couple of coin purses um that if you take will add another like four coin on top of the one that that heartbreaker has um but that's all there's not any other loot in this room like there should be in this safe house you mean in general yes yes and from from what you guys can tell so far you've only found a couple of like pouches of of silver um you guys have total you have found five coin that is all you found here um so if anything was here well it's not anymore it's at the warehouse but the warehouse knows that we're coming maybe this hatch is it like a secret passageway to the warehouse We I have mean, no idea. You would have to follow no, it to no, find out. We have to we'll have to check that out, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, okay. I say I say we take it. Set the house on fire I, and I then go to the hatch. Thinking, Ooh, love that. I'm think yeah. I'm thinking they know that. Okay, the. Okay, we don't know that the raven went that way, but assuming that they. 
um, hear the explosion and notice that their house is gone, maybe they'll consider that someone's trying to rob them. So maybe they will send people our way. While you guys uh, are going under the tunnel, is that your thought? Oh, yeah, so that or or maybe they'll think that instead of us just leaving this and then just like heading over there, we can take the tunnel and maybe get the edge on them some way. Ooh. They may be expecting us to take the tunnel, but we don't know that. Um setting the house on fire is basically like we came, we snatched, we set it on fire. Yeah, I'm doing that either way. I yeah, did. go ahead and give yeah, me that roll, by the way. Oh, Nat, now you want yeah. the, the yeah. tinker roll to set yeah. up uh, this up? Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, is it, would it be tinker or wreck? I'm going to let you decide. I am burning down their house. Uh, I, I feel like that wreck's appropriate. All right. <laughs> Woo! Uh, no one's here. Is it still desperate or is it just back to regular risky? I'm gonna say it's desperate, just, just cause. Okay. Just so things are worse if I fuck up. I got you, I got you. <laughs> and if you pass, then you get XP. I'm do, I'm really doing it for you. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that is. Uh, I'll go ahead. Okay, and we have to keep push my... track of this. Like, piece. oh no, yeah, you get it. Every time you roll a desperate action, um, the attribute for that skill, whether you pass or fail, get a uh. Ooh. <laughs> the fucker's going down. <laughs> All right, so please explain to me so exactly what you're doing. Sorry, what? I was just telling Lottie that the white ticks on like insight, prowess, and resolve; those are like the XP tiles. Okay. So if she since oh, she yeah. rolled a since she rolled something earlier, um, that would have allowed her to get XP yep. in that thing. Nice. Okay, good to know. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so while everyone else is busy, like, searching for, like, treasure or whatever, uh, I'm going to be going around basically uh, spreading a, a cocktail of uh, various flammable chemicals in, you know, the most efficient and effective pattern uh, around the place, uh, and I'll have, like, a little... Uh, sparker thing set up so that I can like put it on like, good old fashioned twist dial because that's the kind of thing where like like an egg timer set to like do a little zap to light the fire so we'll just soak everything up in the uh, appropriate pattern with the incredibly flammable chemicals uh, and then like my little egg timer and it's like click it's like are you guys almost done and by that I mean you guys should probably be done soon for reasons <laughs> <laughs> all right are you guys going down the hatch i'm guessing has anyone told me about the hatch I just, I <laughs> uh, at this point i'm gonna be like all right everybody down the hatch since we're fleeing what? burning down I guess, that I guess it's time to boogie oh this counts as fleeing uh, we've taken what we found and then we're gonna take the hatch and hopefully it'll take us to more treasure no, oh, cool. And probably bad guys. All right. Well, then we should go really fast because I don't really remember what the time I put on that uh, setting was, and there's some volatile stuff up there. Yikes. <laughs> Let's go. It's definitely unsafe to be where we're at. Sawtooth, if you want to take the lead. Yeah, let's go. No, question. Did you yeah, just set it up behind. to burn, or did you set it up to explode? Hmm. Uh, probably intense burn. Intense burn. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, the, um, the hatch leads you down into a little, um, sewer, um, path that looks almost like they actually kind of, um, made themselves, uh, because it doesn't actually seem to be like the main part of the sewers. Um, and it goes down and then to the right where Copper Bottom Road is and leads to where that white circle is. Um, there is um, a little actual staircase that kind of goes up that leads to a door 
that has a spark craft lock on it um and basically what that is um it, it uses kind of uh the spark craft and electroplasm uh to create kind of a special lock trap um you cannot pass through this without um either taking harm or setting off an alarm um unless you can disable it somehow don't worry guys i can definitely do this let's hope so <laughs> is it still desperate no i'll give you i'll give you risky standard here okie dokie let's do it <laughs> let's... hey i got a six you did it as i, mean... I as i i melt the entire fucking thing the the trick is is no one ever expects you to melt the lock <laughs> and the trap in its entirety they always think you're gonna try and jimmy it or get clever with it nah just melt the whole fucking thing there's some like sparks that come off of it as it's like melting um don't worry that's normal <laughs> um yeah once it it's melted you can kind of kick it open pretty much um how are you guys just are you guys like trying to quietly go in here or was this allowed melting uh, or I, I do have saboteur so when i wreck stuff it can be very quiet is that are you guys trying to be quiet until you get the lay of the land or are you again just kind of bursting in there i i will leave it to the um, rule of the group i already got to burn down one house <laughs> well i got to accomplish my goals like already I feel yeah. I feel like we're being pretty bombastic. So I, I can't yeah, I think this is pretty bombastic. It's pretty loud. It's pretty bold. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't see us. I don't see us being uh, quiet because we've already burned down one house, and he's he's been talking this whole time. It's like they never expect that. Okay. They never do. Everyone always they're like, I'm gonna cut the red wire. <laughs> Fuck that! I burned all the wires. <laughs> No one ever expects you to melt the bomb. Oh, wait, no, that is not what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do. Statement that is technically true, but deeply unhelpful. So as you guys kind of burst through this door, um, you find yourself indeed in the bottom floor of a warehouse. Um, they're kind of industrial size shelves um, with that are filled with different crates of different sizes and colors. Um, where this comes out at is sort of towards the back a little. Um, there is the, the door that leads out is actually under a staircase that leads up to the second floor. Um, as you guys kind of come in, there's like an old loading dock um, that's back there. There's a side entrance that you can see, and then whatever is at the front, you can't really tell because there's so many shelves. Um, but there are <laughs> indeed several very surprised individuals. Uh, let me get all of their shit out. Very surprised individuals, huh? Several. Okay. There is one. Like two, seven? Two, three, four. Seven six, doesn't five. qualify as several. Uh, hmm. There are. One, two, three. Ah! Three, four. There are five. Did I get everybody? Let's do that as up there. There are five very surprised individuals standing in this room. Um, Let's beat them up. Would you believe we're lost? <laughs> do you say that? I'm, yes. I'm itching to punch. I'm telling you, <laughs> I am itching. So. Oh, that's amazing. Um. So one of them, and I will put all of their um, their tokens over here, so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. 
Two, three, four, five. Oh, oh no, six. they're hot. There's six. <laughs> <laughs> there's six of them. Everybody has six. I meant five. Or I meant six. Um, I forgot to grab somebody's. Oh, I forgot this one. Okay. Yeah, no, there are six. I just forgot to grab a um a character sheet. Um, so yeah, there are six individuals. Um this gentleman right here um kind of steps forward. Oh, and I was gonna respond to him. Discord, why are you being mean? Discord is cursing him to... Apparently. I don't know what you That's did why. to make Discord hate you. You know, no. I gotta wonder if it's the fact that he's got the cameras on. Oh, maybe. What's um, an issue? So, that dapper-looking gentleman kind of steps forward and says, No... No, I would not believe that you're lost. <laughs> have, you, we ain't. have you tried? <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. We found this place on accident. So, Truth yeah, funny. we're lost. Yeah, this isn't really my scene. You expect me to believe that you found a hatch in a house that led here and only here and you found that by accident well, we did the house was on fire it's very important that we left the house quickly we kind of went through whatever entrance we could find not something I take lightly Come on, that was funny. It is funny. It's okay. Um, if they're if they're still staring at us, I wanna I wanna <laughs> push myself to go ahead and lightning bolt the Frankenstein looking motherfucker. Not him. Going he's my favorite. Huh? <laughs> Actually, he's not my Just favorite. Just going fine. for it, huh? Yeah, lightning go bolt. ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like they're they're gonna. I'd, I'd prefer them not to ask any more questions. So I think. Uh, we might have got out of this. They might be stupid. We don't know. I doubt it, considering he already called us out on our bullshit. We we haven't even begun to bullshit. Oh, are, take out. Are, are we are we mm. starting this? Uh, so oh, it sounds like lightning bolts happening. So all right. Yeah, I'm. I'm pulling out my hammers, baby. He's going are wham we, bam. Are we still bam. desperate? We're smashing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it, it's definitely it, it, it's desperate. Um, That's fair. All right, so we have a lightning bolt to Frankenstein. Um, hammers to who are you taking the hammers to? I don't know. I'm looking at Pretty Boy here, and he's just got a face that is that needs to be punched. It. All right, all right. So you're taking it to the dock. <laughs> um, God damn it. Um, Heartbreaker and Smoke. What are you guys doing? Trying to decide how terrible of a decision I should make. I forgot. We forgot to do loadouts, but it's fine. We're just going to assume that you have whatever you were going to have. It's fine. We're going to pretend like we did it because I forgot. I, I, I pretty much stick to a normal loadout myself. Yeah. It's fine. Um, so, yes, uh, Smoke and Heartbreaker, what are you guys doing and who are you doing it to? Mm. Oh, um... my. You're in like a basement, right? No, you're on the the ground floor of a warehouse. Oh, cool! I guess there's way more exits. Uh, yeah, no, it, ah, screw it. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my venomous ability. Oh, fucking hell! Okay, um, I'm gonna push myself to exhale a uh. Cloudy, uh, a cloud of skull fire vapor just in their general direction. That's sort of a whom it may be concerned sort of deal. <laughs> so okay. both of them need supernatural powers. Just, uh, they're like, we don't believe you. Okay, fine, you don't believe us. I guess we're gonna have to get serious. Um, 
Skull Fire is a tier 3 poison that uh, are toxic fumes from overly heated leviathan blood that cause incapacitating migraines. So, so talking nice. to me That's... gave them a migraine. <laughs> that sounds like what happens at work to me sometimes. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Um, I could I. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Is... Oh, so sorry. Would that... So is that like a finesse to aim it their way, I guess? I don't know. It It's just kind of a cloud, right? Like, you said you just kind of like breathe the vapor in their general direction. Is that correct? Oh, did he freeze? Or is he thinking? It that is, in fact, what he okay. said. And he's like, oh, cool. It broke in a new way this time. <laughs> Curse you, Discord! Curse you! I believe, okay. while, based on while his we're... description, he's basically doing that whole, like, you know, that whole, like, you pull up power and go, Whoof, type of deal. Oh, so... no, it's inside of my body, because yeah. then is stupid. I can just... <laughs> oh, yeah, just yeah, he just secretes it or, like, breathes it, yeah. Um, yeah, you gave me this. This I... is your fault. I... This is all my fault, I know. Um... Since you're just kind of doing it in a general direction, you're not sort of you're not kind of aiming it at one particular person. You're just kind of aiming it at everybody. Um, I would say you could absolutely do finesse. Um, let me let me finesse. Let me. I can do this. I am the best at things. Uh, is this risky desperate. or desperate? Desperate. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so clever. <laughs> Um, I would like to provide aid. Oh, that no. roll. I was gonna have him provide. I was gonna provide aid before he rolled, because when I use Tempest, it causes wind and other things. So, um, I was gonna say, you know, the wind is pushing towards them to make the cloud go closer. Nah, he rolled already though. So, yeah, you blow it in our own faces. <laughs> I mean, it It also might just be the fact that I'm overheating Leviathan blood inside of my own body, which mm. is a terrible decision that I should never have made. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll get back to that consequence that in a minute. Um, cool, just let me know. Yeah, I will. Um, um, what, what was your question, Salty? I have a question, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, no, I know fine. my savage ability is supposed to only affect my command but mm -hmm. i feel like it would also um be able to be applied to my wreck rolls as well because i'm a savage individual that likes to bust things with hammers when you unleash your physical violence it's especially frightening Yeah, but it's saying once you do the the physical violence because they're frightened, okay, okay. um, they would take because they're already frightened. You give them, you give a plus one. Um, so sadly, no. Unless you want to try to intimidate them after you do this, and then you can, on your next turn, if once they're frightened, you can try. You can use that. But that's a whole separate roll. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Um. um <sighs> you know what? How many more sessions do we have of this? Just, Just one. one? Screw it. Can I can I uh, push my luck or whatever to yeah. gain a dice? I just want to gain a dice. Yeah. This is essentially you can, what I'm trying to do. You How can many push yourself do I for that too. You take two uh, if you push yourself, or you can always ask for a devil's bargain. I I feel like she's already got too much on me already. I'm not giving her any more. Any more cards to play? Got a really good one too, but it's fine. Partial um, success. I'm okay. I'm trying to beat up Pretty Boy. Okay. Um, what does Heartbreaker want to do? Um, I'm looking at my my abilities, and I'm, there's not a lot of uh like things that are going to be good in like a fighting kind of situation, and I'm kind of 
trying to figure out what to do, so um, maybe I'll just, uh... You can use your... You can use your... Let me see. You can use your trance powder. You can kind of blow it on somebody, okay. and that will okay. that will kind of take them out of things for a while. Um, okay, um, I will blow it on the most, uh, this, this, uh, whichever one. You could use your sway and be like, I'm not with them. They took me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a damsel. I could. I'm definitely Oh my lost. god. Yeah, I'm definitely lost. That actually would be really funny. Can These I try bad that? men. They captured me. These bad me. men took me. That's hilarious. Can I try that? Yeah, sure. Um, you also have a cane sword, don't forget. So if you can get close to him I with your sway, you can try to maybe stab them after the fact. Um, but sure, yeah. See if you can pull this off. We're gonna see. Oh, did I do it wrong? So I many I dice. I did, I, did not hit, I, I did not hit that right. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I messed that up. That might be a few um, too many. Again. I was. I have a matter. Oh. They don't believe you. Okay, so. Um, I'm being honest. You will never be honest. What does your lightning look like, Dirge, when it comes when it hits? Oh yeah, no. His lightning is like this, like vibrant blue color that's tinged with like green and yellow. So it's this weird amalgamation of uh, blue and yellow with green streaks and stuff, but it's mostly blue. Okay. Um, and he's got, like, clouds that literally, like, float around him and swirl because of wind. So, you know, lightning forms in the cloud. He, like, points at somebody and then crack, boom. Okay. Smoke. Yes. So... Do me a favor and read the description of Skullfire again. Sure, let me just bring it up. Uh, Skullfire. Toxic fumes from overly heated leviathan blood causes incapacitating migraines. Cool. So, you were like, in, like you've burned down a house, you melted a lock, like you were just... No, having a great so, day. Yeah, you were having a great day. You're so excited. You got a little too excited. Um... And instead of, like, kind of wafting it out to them, um, you kind of do it to yourself almost a little bit. And for just a little while, you have that migraine. You don't take any damage. You don't take any, like, health issues from it. Um, you're just kind of incapacitated for, for a few moments until it passes. Uh, I should probably also point out that the drawback oh, for Volatel is Spicken, so I believe I also take a level 1 harm Spicken. You do, and actually, I think, actually, let me let me double check something really quick, because I actually think I can't do that to you. Why can't it be done you, to me? Because you're immune. You become immune to it. Oh, that's right, I am immune. I'm um, immune to, uh, uh... Okay, so... <laughs> that's why it's inside of my um, body like that. <laughs> I forgot. I'm safe. Hey, You've created a fake gland to be able to go, hey, look, this poison? I'm just going to use it now. Pick a number yeah, so. one through three. Oh, no. Uh, three. Um, so, the reason why Heartbreaker failed <laughs> was because as she's, like, trying to convince them that you guys have taken her, and she should get close to them so that they can help her. Um, I'm helping. Look, I don't believe that you're not part of our group. <laughs> um, you get hit by this, and you have this unbelievable migraine. Um, and again, I'm not going to make you take any health damage for it, um, but you are um, incapacitated for a little while, um, which is just the Sorry. worst, the worst migraine. Um, so no, uh... I'm gonna use that for like you get that happen to you, and then because you're like trying to um sway these people to uh to believe that you're one of them, and then you like get this horrible migraine. Um, I'm trying to 
think of what I want your consequence to be, but I feel like that's a really big <laughs> consequence enough. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Taking, her, taking her out of the action is a consequence. Yeah. Even if it's only uh, for a little while. Yeah. So I think that that's going to be kind of a consequence for, because it kind of happens simultaneously. Um, let me pull these guys back out. Close this. So, um, Frankenstein, which is quite rude. I actually named him Brick. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Brick. <laughs> um, That's so much better. He, um, uh, he's kind of dealing with the, you know, getting struck by lightning thing. Um, here, so let's just take... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, that's what I meant to do. Um, while he does that, the guy in the back, um, he's not really in the back, but he is in the back. This guy over here with, like, this, uh, yeah, this guy back here. Um, and um, the woman next to him. Um they kind of start muttering to themselves. Um, Dirge, I'm assuming, do you have your, your spirit mask on? Oh yeah, Dirge okay. has a spirit mask on. Um, I'm, I'm not going to make you do an attune roll unless you really want to. Um, you can kind of tell that they are, they're doing, you can kind of tell their whispers. Um, they, they, their masks kind of fall into place as they start muttering to themselves. And they, um, Um, they, sorry, I lost my thought. Um, they bring in a couple of spirits around them and they are kind of commanding them towards you. Um, I will, I will point out Sawtooth, you do have the skill that allows you to kind of infuse your weapon or your hands and you can kind of do that whole thing. Um, um I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you. I've been waiting to punch some ghosts. So that is what they're doing. They 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 are bringing the spirits. And it was which two again? Point them out for me. I don't think I want to. This then guy you're gonna in be the turban down. Yeah. The guy, this guy in the weird looking hat thing. And, her. and then the one with the glowy eyes. Right. Oh, they're wearing they're wearing spirit masks, so that's yeah. pretty obvious. Yeah, they are wearing spirit masks. Which I also have to point out that the 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 lines on Dirge's hands are glowing now that he's actually using Tempest, and so are the little mm. accent marks on his uh, his mask because the lines on his face are also glowing. So he just looks like extra spooky. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now there's some angry, spoopy ghosts around that are being compelled to attack you. Um, what are the three of you doing? Um, sadly, Heartbreaker has the worst migraine. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to punch some ghosts. I I'm gonna lightning bolt Frankenstein again. Would you say that that is a skirmish or a wreck to fight these skirmish is punching yeah oh, I... oh no <laughs> oh no are you so are you you're trying to you're trying to hit them with lightning or are you um Trying yeah, to no, compel I'm, I'm them away. I'm still trying to hit Frankenstein with lightning. Okay. Um, well, trying and failing, sadly. But, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah. So, you... What does it look like when you imbue your hands or your weapon with the, the spirit energy? Saltooth. Um, 
I don't know. I, I think it probably looks kind of. St- I don't know what you said. It's a dirge's glow is kind of like greenish yellow. You said. Yeah, it's it's um, it's like blue and yellow. It mixes into green, but it's mostly blue. Yeah, I was I was kind of imagining like um, like kind of like a bluey sort of like spectrally aura that kind of like flows into the weapons. Okay. Or my hands or whatever. Um. All right. Yeah. No. That's that's absolutely fine. Sounds terrifying. Um. So, are you? With Ghost Fighter, you can kind of restrain and capture them. Um, are you just kind of holding them until you can get a spirit bottle? And, until, like, Dirge can bring a spirit bottle over to kind of capture them? Or um, what exactly are you doing once you have them? Stone Cold Stunner. Uh. <laughs> um, I... Okay. Um, Suplex City! <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really just trying to mess these ghosts up. <laughs> so mess I'm them up. Trying to disperse um, I, them. Yeah, I ain't afraid uh, of no ghosts. Yeah, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Yeah, busting makes me feel good. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to bust these ghosts, man. All right, sounds good. Um. I mean, if they want to capture, I don't. I don't know if that, is that how we defeat them is capturing them. If that's what we have to do, then I will like I will grapple one, and you can you can disperse them. Can... The whole point of capturing them allows me to be able to use them later. Yeah, the specific skill though says restrain and capture, not disperse. Um, because he's not a whisper, he wouldn't be able to actually disperse them. Um, ah. Oh. I will say for okay, flavor, and- though, um, because it does say you can capture them, you can kind of, as you, you restrain them, you can use, like, that energy to kind of bind them, um, to capture them until the Whisper can can disperse them if you want. Or you can just, like, okay, can I, wrestle them. Can I... All right. Can I use my hammer to maybe knock them across their um, ghost jaws so that they're kind of, like, knocked out? but ghosts so, so that they're like incapacitated or do i have to physically be grappling them um it just says restrain and cats and capture so i'm gonna let you flavor this however you want if you want to say by like restraining them that they're kind of knocked out like they're they're incapacitated until the whisper can disperse them that is it's totally up to you I mean, if I grab one and grapple it, do I have to wait until he roll like everyone else does stuff, and then he has to roll again to do that? Since he already rolled, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roll against you. I'm just gonna. Th- there's several ghosts here, so we'll just say that one, the one that you hit, is incapacitated. We don't, we're not gonna worry about him again, unless this drags on for a really long time, and then I will make it kill you. Um. <laughs> what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Smoke, what are you doing? Uh, coughing because the things came out of my body and it didn't go great. Like, ah. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Uh, you do have I, that, um, that thing that you crafted that... I do, and trust me, I was considering, uh, that it seems like a real escalation, but, yeah, fuck it. Who wants fire oil? Everybody wants fire oil. There's a lot of alcohol in here too. It's please don't true. burn. Please don't burn us alive. Please don't burn us alive. I promise to try. I'd rather not. Yeah, I'm like we want some of this stuff. There's good stuff here. Could you imagine? Katie comes back next game. We're all ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> She's what? the only living person. <laughs> what happened? You weren't there to save us, so we're she haunting you now. New, she has to form an entirely new crew for the next job. No, you guys will just be ghosts. You will use the ghost playbook. <laughs> you will haunt okay. everyone. Um, you know what? Yeah, screw it. I'm going to throw fire wheel um, off to uh, where the 
alcohol and everything is, so I, I, I'm gonna, I guess that's a wreck as I'm trying to break their stuff and start a fire. Yes. Cool. Let's Hi, see. Buddy. Whoosh. All right. Oh, there's a Success. Second. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I've uh, started a fire, and then I'm gonna go. You can either keep fighting us and burn, or we can all leave. <laughs> Give me a group intimidate, please. And actually, and I will say this: if Sawtooth agrees to take the lead, they are they are frightened at this point. So you will get you. Saltooth, on that. yeah, Saltooth will get the extra dice on that. Um, yeah, definitely. Think think so. lightning. Can I provide an assist with lightning because I've been well, tossing no, lightning bolts? You're all, you're all rolling. It's a group intimidate. Oh. Uh, you um, mean me? Am I blacking in? This yeah, is command, yeah, right. Yeah. But I will say, this just is... for fun, everybody can take an extra dice for their command roll um, because you guys have terrified these people unfortunately i was really hoping this was going to be more challenging but you guys suck and we you guys like to ruin my fun started attacking them all right so you take one stress so far uh sawtooth i take one stress for this uh uh two uh two so far and then you roll yours and if you if you fail as well you get you get three, but so far you take two. I am taking two stress to do this move. So the way no, the no. the way a group work a group move works because you took the lead on this. Um, anybody who fails, you take stress for their failure. But we only need one of you to pass the roll. So if three of you fail, you take three stress. But if one person passes, then you all pass. Which I passed, so. Uh, but you still have to gotcha. roll. Everybody still has to roll. Right. Well, all right. I have. T I just want everyone to know I have two stress left. So. All right. We're doing I'm, a great job. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Great job. It'll be fine. See, look at that. You gotta. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get... They oh, all. Stiff. Um. Yeah, they all kind of look at one another. What do you? Is that what you say to them? Um. No, to get them no, to leave? no, um, no, I am going to, um, oh, I have a great idea. I'm going to pull out my saw blade, which is like a very long broadsword ish looking thing that has a serrated edge. And I'm going to dip it into the fire oil alcohol mixture. And it's going to come out as this flaming jagged murder sword. And I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be like, y'all better get the hell out of here, or you're gonna turn into sawdust. Oh my god! <laughs> and just like you know, wave it around. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome! <laughs> they. God damn it. They, um, they all... <laughs> the fight wasn't going well. I saw a different option. <laughs> I hate you. Um, I do it to myself. I don't know why I do it to myself, but I do every time. Um, they all kind of look at one another. Um, the two whispers in the back, their spirit mask, uh, lifts the ghosts, uh, they, they kind of mutter the ghosts, uh, fade back away. Um, the um which one will do it probably probably the dapper looking guy that that you punched um <laughs> will kind of just say something as the others are running out through this because there's a side door over there they're running out the side door um something along the lines of we won't forget this revenge will be ours blah 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 and he also runs <laughs> um that's right, you go take off running there, piss boy. Now, oh, wow. the building is on fire. Um, you have mm. very limited time um, to loot what you can. Now, there is a, a loading dock um, in the back. There, so that you, you could technically use the loading dock if you want. Um, 
I mean, is this fire in like enraging or is it like is I it mean, containable? It's... I mean, I threw fire oil, which erupts into searing flame upon contact with air, onto a pile of alcohol. So, so, it is, so this is burning. Yeah. We're burning this place down. Um, now, that being said, I could make the argument that perhaps I could make a tinker roll for, you know, for like, and a, maybe a flashback to, you know, I knew I was going to burn a bunch of stuff down. Maybe I prepared, like, some fire extinguisher fluid. <laughs> But that's up to whether the GM will let me do that. that. If that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. I will tell you that outside of, um, so like the docking bay is like in the very back of this building. Um, you will find a boat that you can steal over here on the water. Um, so if you want to just quickly grab what you can, uh, load it into mm. the boat and get away, you can. If you would like to try to do the flashback to put out the fire so you have a little bit more time. Um, I well. would like to, if I can bias time, uh, push myself again to summon rain to slow down the fire spread. All right, Ooh. Let's see if I can do that with Tempest. Sure, yeah. All right, well, that'll definitely slow it down, and then let's let's grab a bunch of shit and steal a boat. Does anyone yeah, love Ooh. that? Yeah. Fuck these guys. It yeah, Katie's gonna be so. I love stealing things. Put so much things on fire, and she wasn't a part of it. Well, that's what you get for not being here. Do I have to make an attune roll to summon the rain? Um, I would say no. If you if you want to, you can. Um, but you don't have to. I can just say, we can just kind of hand wave it and say that you were able to create the water or the rain. Um, so yeah, you guys have a little bit more time. You are soaking wet um, because, you know, the rain is, you know, everywhere for the most part. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm creating a, th a, th a rainstorm inside a building. Yeah. Um, so you guys are kind of cold and wet by the end of this, but you were able to... Um, I would say you probably can't make too many trips um, back and forth before people show up to, you know, try to kill you. Um, but you could probably, I'd say, maybe make two trips. Um, the boat that you're able to steal, you should be able to carry it all um, and get it back. To yeah, your... we should be stealing artwork and booze. Mostly artwork, uh, though. I think yeah. it's on fire. Artwork yeah, the booze is... This is not a choice. We there's can make there's another more. crate of whiskey up at the front that you guys can. Bam. Was there yeah. any more like gold or coin here, or did yeah? Just... So, um, I I would say you guys probably got maybe two two crates worth of art, a crate of um, really really rare they have rare, really rare whiskey, um, and Ooh, another crate rare whiskey. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> um. And you were able to get another, um, like, chest. Like, I don't want to say, like, pirate's chest, but, like, basically pirate's booty of silver coins. A treasure chest. Um, it is way more fun to say pirate's booty, so that is what I'm going to say. Um, yeah. Love that. <laughs> um, you know, I should have taken the getting kicked out of the tit and spank, because that could probably have used this whiskey to to buy your way back in my way back in <laughs> and impress your impress your barmaid girlfriend i mean think I of it like this way i can use some of this rare whiskey and instead of spending coin to be like hey have some of these bottles this is your share of our last haul because we could probably get more than a single we probably get more than a single like more than a couple of coin from the crate so one bo one or two yeah. bottles is less than a coin worth, I assume. And he runs a bar. Yeah, let's... Oh, Get for a walker? Cash. Yeah. Yeah, instead of playing your tithe? Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, great idea, great idea, great idea. Um, you could probably um, take a bottle of the whiskey to Coco and um, make better friends with her. For being an ass. Yeah, make better friends with, uh, with the lady. <laughs> Um, 
but yeah, so you guys get a, a, a crate of whiskey. You guys get about, I'll say, two crates of artwork, um, a pirate's booty of silver coin, um, and then I'll just say a, another crate of like miscellaneous expense jewels. We'll say a crate of jewels. Fuck okay. it. Oh, love, love jewels. Sparkly, um, fun, gorgeous. Love it. Sparkle, sparkle. So yeah, do you guys want to do all of your like XP and end of session stuff tonight, or do you want to do it next session like we did today? Ooh, I'm um, fine running through it real quick. Okay. Take too long. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. All right. So XP. Anybody that rolled a desperate action gets an XP for that. So if anybody, if you roll more than two, you get two XP for desperate desperate actions. Uh, actually, the desperate action doesn't have a limit. It doesn't. Nope, it says every time you roll. Well, never mind then. So however many desperate desperate rolls you made, that's how many XP you get for that. Um, for the slide, because we didn't do yours earlier, um, you, get mm -hmm. an, you get an XP anytime you address a challenge with deception or influence. I would say you did that at least once tonight. Okay. Who, who, who? I mean, she. I mean, she definitely tried, tried it twice. No, she did it. She did it once. Did she. She went to Bezo Baz again and and tried to get more information from him, and it was a partial success. Oh no, actually no, that was a fail. Well, the, yeah, it doesn't fail, say that you right? have to succeed, just that you address a challenge that way. You know what? That's fair. So yeah, yeah actually, I would say you tried it. One Do up twice. She did the Bezo Baz one, and then she tried to say that she was a damsel in distress. Yeah, so I'd say you get two for that. Okay. Um. I I know I get two for addressing a challenge with arcane power because mm -hmm. I kept trying to lightning bolt Frankenstein, uh, and then when we were like, "Oh no, fire!" I was like, "All right, I'm gonna summon rain." You did, you did do that. You did strike him with lightning, and you did cause a rainstorm. Um, uh, Sawtooth, did you, I would say you absolutely addressed a challenge with violence, violence or coercion. Multiple times, I think, yeah, I, multiple times. Yeah. yeah I'm, you definitely get the two for that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm taking two for that, and then, um, I definitely struggled with issues with my vice. Yeah. Session. I, yeah. Twice. I, I so, would give you yeah I would give you two, I for, that. two for that as well yeah I would give you two for that as well um smoke I definitely think you caused some fucking mayhem tonight I don't know what you're talking about everything <laughs> went smooth as smoke anyways <laughs> yeah no definitely um can't really say much for any of the other ones unless you consider throwing fire oil on uh Alcoholic gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess you could consider it a gamble because you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know if that was going to backfire on you. Um, I know you did. You did kind of struggle with your with your vice, I think, in the beginning. But that was from that's uh, the downtime from last time. I'm, I'm not. I'm not arguing that. <laughs> um. I'll give it to you if you want. We only have one more session. If you want the extra XP, you can have it. Worth it. Uh, For all the difference it'll make. Uh, <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, okay. Is that everybody's XP or did I forget anybody? No. Uh, I think that covers everybody. Okay. I got I enough to actually again. increase to get a resolve skill, which I'm going to buy a sway. Very nice. Uh, Okay, let's <laughs> let's generate some heat, everybody. <laughs> we only uh, we only have <sighs> the next. You know what, Kit? This this particular area we generate a lot of heat on this map when we do stuff here. Yeah. Anyway, because remember last time we were escorting the guy from the lamp black warehouse? You did. We got into that street fight and just murdered a bunch of people out yeah, in the open. Yeah, you did. We and didn't kill anyone this time. 
it's true. We didn't this time. Last time we killed a bunch of people. It wasn't here, but it was. It was. Um, I think it, it was, was in the coal works. No, no, no. I'm I'm thinking about something else. Um, I think it was like in the the one of the other maps. You guys blew a fucking hole in the wall of a building so you could get away. Yeah, we did that um, too. We did. Okay. I just remember us doing the escort from the Lamp Black Warehouse to Tangletown. And I had to snipe a guy from Bridge Road all the way down the Fishmonger's Row. I was like, yeah, I killed him. Ah. All right. All right. But this game, though. Yeah, this game, though. But this game. Um, all right. So let's <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you guys did not do this um, nice and quiet this time. What? Oh, no, no. no. Two. Two buildings burning down is absolutely quiet. Um, yeah, this, um, this was for sure a classic smash and pass smash. Goodness. Um, so you guys get two more rep. Um, you do not, they're about the same tier as you, so you don't get any extra. Um, so would you say... I know what I would say, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out here I to mean, you. Would you say this was contained, loud and chaotic, or wild and devastating? Or wild with devastating exposure. Um, contained loud and chaotic. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that I'm seems going wild, right. devastating exposure. I don't know. I we I we burned down two buildings. I waved a flaming jagged sword. At Threatening to saw people's heads yeah, off. Yeah, that one. That one's not a big deal. <laughs> that one's not yeah. a big deal. But we definitely That's burned down our house and a house. Uh, so I'm I'm definitely thinking that this is like loud and chaotic. But there's potentially depending on whether or not that warehouse caught other nearby buildings on fire. Um, now you did catch the warehouse on fire, but you also contained the fire with the rainstorm. Unless it didn't, you say you don't think it put the fire out, and you ended the rainstorm and let the fire take over. Oh, I I wasn't gonna put the fire out. I was gonna let the, the building burn. Okay, okay. So yeah, no, yeah, you totally burned two uh, buildings down. Um, plus there was probably still some other flammable stuff in the building because there was still two floors above you. It was a three story building, um, and you don't know what was in the the top two floors. Um. I so it was drugs. So yeah, I'm of the opinion this was probably devastating. Sweet. I just I just want to see something really quick. No, no reason. Okay. Um. Wild with devastating exposure gives you six heat. Excellent. Three, four, five. You are one away from being wanted. Hmm. Um, nice. Yeah. Um. I will. Um. Oh, I will give you, you your points. What? Nothing. I'm just playing on the map. Oh. <laughs> Um, for your crew XP, I would say you executed a successful battle extortion sabotage or smash and grab operation. Because technically it was successful. You did burn two buildings down and steal a bunch of shit. Yeah, I would say I would say for sure. Okay. Um, did you contend with challenges above your current station? I would say no, not really. But okay. if you have a reason for disagreeing with me, I will hear you out. I think probably. I don't think so. Okay. Um, did you did you did you bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one? Um, I feel absolutely. like we definitely bolstered it. I will bolster two buildings. Two buildings. That's two XP, baby. You know what? I will Bye. give you. I will give you that. Um, did you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of your crew? Does fire count as an oh, 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 oh. essential nature? I think at this point I'm it does. Sorry. We they were like, no one can steal from us, bitch. And we said 
We bet. did it. We did it pretty. We said we're in. <laughs> bet. Yeah, we said <laughs> want to bet. They said they said how'd you get in here? We like. I don't know. Said. <laughs> so we we're, we're we locked up. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a building burning down around us, so we jumped in this hatch and we showed up here. All right. Um, and then we said, fuck you, fuck your ghost, fuck your warehouse, and fuck your boat, because we stole it. I mean, to be fair, you don't know if it was their boat or somebody else's boat, but yes, you did steal the boat. Um, in the immortal words of the Chappelle show, fuck your couch. Um, so, I will, I was going to try to fix the cameras really quick, but I don't really see that there's a point, so fuck it. Sorry, everybody. That's just the way we are now. Um, oh, let me give you your XP for that. So, um, oh, you're fine. You don't have to turn it back on. Um, I will give you the breakdown of the coin that you got um, next session. Um, cool. It's a lot. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it is a lot. Um, and if you want to give Walker a bottle, a bottle, a bottle or two of the whiskey um, instead of coin, he will happily accept that. Um, Seems fair to me. So, nice. Yeah, I, I mean, he's getting a cut, and it's because he runs a bar. It's probably more useful to him than the coin. I hope it is true, and and he just generally likes whiskey. Um, there was quite a few bottles in there. Um, so if you wanted to kind of keep some of it to use as, yeah, bribes or to give to friends, um, for favors or whatever, um, you can absolutely keep some of them instead of selling them. Um, can you I were... ask a question? Yeah, of course. Could I, since we have so many bottles of whiskey, mm -hmm. is it, could I maybe keep one for myself yeah or two well i was and gonna say can I use would i be able to use that to like lower my vice without like consequences uh no you would still need to indulge your vice to get rid of stress what if i lock myself in a room no you still have yeah, to roll it's unfortunately not how it works yeah yeah sadly <laughs> remember this this setting is supposed to be like anything you do runs the risk of turning badly on you. Yeah. Well, that and the more stress you have, it, it's harder to overindulge. Um, if True. you're trying to get get rid of like two or three stress, it's it's way easier to overindulge than if you're trying to get rid of you know six or seven. Um, However, if you uh, had decided to lose your purveyor at the uh, Tang and Spank or. Um, you could have potentially used the bottles as a new source of vice for a time period. Um. So, uh, since coins being handed out next time, yeah. downtimes next time? Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do downtimes and coin next time. Um, cool. And then... Um, We'll jump into the last, the last little uh, adventure you guys are gonna have. Um, I was gonna say something else, and I don't remember what it was. But yeah, um, I hope you guys had fun. Um, yeah, I had fun. I was hoping it was gonna be a bit more difficult for you, but apparently not. I'm gonna have to up it again um, next time. And... Just because we figured out a way to not have to fight six dudes when they had us surrounded. This is very true. And then summon two ghosts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and end here. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate you guys playing. Um, and we will be back next Wednesday around the same time um, to finish out our little three adventure excursion. Um, let me get ready because I always forget that I actually have to do other stuff too. Um, <laughs> hey, Coco. Coco. Yeah. How do you feel what? about being able to give people the kiss of death? I mean, that's kind of cool. All right, I got you. Kinda We're going to sort that out next down times. Yeah, we got you. Okay. What have I done? Um, on that note, you know, uh, there's the. 
Did you know there's a potion that turns people's saliva and blood super toxic? Yeah, yeah I do. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I do. Love it. Um, <laughs> on that note, we're going to go, and I'm going to have nightmares of what Bye. Kit is going to do mm. next session. Um, but yeah, thank you for playing. Thanks for watching. We, um, we're going to go. So good night. Bye. I can't Bye. be trusted with power. <laughs>